Good evening, everyone. I'm going to accompany you in music to start this evening. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. When you just look at him briefly, there's a whole thing you're missing out. stars he wishes to reach and that his cloak of constant doubt give it a little consideration try a little evaluation but of the actual soul that's laying within instead of the shoes he's carrying sound. I am totally in love with your voice. Give it up for Kezia and her wonderful song, Go For More. I am as excited as you guys are to hear more of this beautiful Queen Kezia. But first of all, welcome to the 50th Seesüchte Award Ceremony, everybody. Well, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Busa Tiam. I'm a journalist. I will be your host for tonight. Uh, I realize some guys of you already had a little glass of sparkling wine. This is why I'm very jealous at the moment, standing on stage, not having a glass of sparkling wine with you. But I have to concentrate. So 
Anyway, as you guys know, film festivals bring not only new, exciting and unique films into our world, but also the creative minds behind them. It is exactly this aspect which Zizuchte has passionately committed itself to for the past 50 years. The next generation of filmmakers across the globe can use this platform to present their work and make contacts in the industry, which is very, very important. Seesüchte has always seen itself as a space for networking, cultural diversity, I love it, and celebrating films. And it continues to do so tonight. I'm very excited. So thank you so much. And again, welcome to all our supporters, our donors who were able to come tonight. And hello to everyone who is joining our live stream. Hello, 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 hello. And also, I would like to welcome all the filmmakers, of course, who made this year's Seesüchte so special. And welcome, of course, to you guys, this beautiful small audience. You look fantastic. Yeah, and you can, you know, just applaud yourself. Well, of course, I have to say some words to the motto for tonight. As you guys know, the flame has accompanied Seesüchte for many years, not only as a logo, but also as a slogan. Every film, of course, starts with a spark, which lights up the screen. For 50 years, Seesüchte has given his creative fire a home. Every year, the festival is reformed under a different motto that shapes each new edition of Seesüchte. So this year, the motto is, come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> Ignite. Um, and it returns to the festival's original credo. The Seesüchte flame has burned bright for 50 years, but was almost, yeah, I have to say, extinguished by the corona pandemic. But we fight back, we are optimistic about the future, and we will be reignited. We will spark debates and bring films back into the spotlight, of course. So, before we get the party started, are you ready for another great performance from Kazaya? I am so happy she was born in Brussels and now is based in my home place in Berlin, best city of the world besides Brussels. And she will now give us some groovy Afro-urban riffs with goosebumps. Kazaya. Hello again. This is a song about a moment where you think you forgot someone, but then you see their, you know, name pop up on your phone when they call you after a long breakup and get goosebumps and you're like, ah, maybe I still have something for them. Yeah. Word says, I've never fallen. The pages in my notebook ain't saying the same. Yeah. I forgot to. That's why I tell them the ending just depends on how you've played the game. Whatever I do, wherever I Whatever I try, mm -hmm. whatever I do, wherever I go, whatever I try, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm still in love with you, yeah. and I know yeah. I still get goosebumps when you call. I'm still in love with you, yeah. and I know. I still get goosebumps when you go, but I won't be up now. Nah, if you call again, I got enough now. I'm through with men, yeah. Oh, I'm still in love with you, yeah. And I know I still get goosebumps when you go. The morning next, I wake up from a heavy night. I you text, but I don't think that I reply. Cause we have seen that you and I can't be one. Instincts kick in, they're telling me to run. I do, I go, I try. What? But I'm 
Amazing tune. We are looking forward to hear more of your great songs. So now let us begin the show, the award ceremony, the 50th Seesüchte Festival. I have to give you a bunch of numbers because I think it's important. A total of 1,075 films were submitted. That's a lot. Of which 107 films were being shown in this year's festival program and tonight we will be awarding 12 prizes and we are so glad that so many filmmakers are able to be here tonight and of course greetings to all the international participants who um, unfortunately can't be here tonight so let's get to the first section and it's called best genre film this section uh, shows us or gives us insights into other words, bringing back classic genres like thriller or science fiction, western, fantasy, you know all the creative stuff. So the award is chosen, and this is also special, by the audience at the Seesüchte Special Festival evening. First of all, let's have a quick look. The nominees are... Wow, Ooh. you can applaud. <laughs> I mean, the pandemic is not over, but we can give all the people the feeling that we are more than just two. So, the award for best genre film goes to the movie Kräfte. Congratulations. <laughs> Director Annelie Boros, produced by Matthias Grieving and Janina Zara Hennemann. Screenplay Timo Bear. So now I think we have a little speech Well, okay, thank you, congratulations again. <laughs> to the winner who unfortunately can't be here tonight, thank you to Adobe who is donating licenses to this year's winner and a big thank you for everybody who voted. So let's skip and get to the next section, it's called Best Pitch. Every screenplay, as you might know, find its origins in the blazing spark of an idea the pitch, of course. The idea competition offers young screenwriters the opportunity to present their pre-selected film or serious concepts to an audience and jury. So thank you, of course, to drama queen Guy M. Beha and congrats to the winner, Tinka, by Julia Clear and Christoph Kruger. 
The jury says they love the self-assert research and the beautiful creation of the world they build up. So, it's fast. We're getting to the third section and it's called Best Short Film. Yeah, we're running through. <laughs> In this section, the short films tell the story that are important to up-and-coming filmmakers, of course, from all around the world. The films draw their inspiration from current trends in film marking, being either funny or epic in scope. And therefore, I would like to welcome the donor of the prize, Anton Knoblach von Adobe. Hey, der Anton von Adobe here, and auch nochmal von mir ein herzliches Willkommen. Wir wollen heute eine ganze Reihe von Filmen feiern, die sich in ihrer Kreativität und Relevanz hervorgetan haben. Und wir wollen einen davon hochverdient mit dem nächsten Preis auszeichnen. Für das Gewinnerteam gibt es neben dem Preisgeld auch noch drei Jahreslizenzen für Creative Cloud für euer nächstes Projekt. So, und das war's schon wieder von mir. Zurück nach Babelsberg und bis nächstes Jahr hoffentlich wieder live und in 3D. Viel Spaß. So, thank you, Anton Knoblach von Adobe. So let's skip to the nominees for Best Short Film. Have your credit card ready or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 for shipping and handling to this address. No CODs, please. There's only room for one pair of tits. Wow. I don't know how you guys feel, but when I see this mashup, so many emotions are running through my body in like two minutes. All right, and the award for best short film goes to Dustin, congratulations, director Naila Guigé, produced by Lou Chicoteau and Jean-Étienne Brett. And of course, we have to introduce to you the members of the jury who have prepared a great speech. So give it up to Annegret Richter, Frederik Schult, and Pia Hellenthal. Dustin tells the end of a love story, which takes place at a party in a warehouse in the outskirts of Paris. We follow the main characters and its group of friends through a drug night of excess. 
The film shows the alienation and heartbreak of its main protagonist, Dustin, a trans woman, with familiarity. Without the need for a grand narrative, Dustin gently unfolds a feeling for a community, for a specific time and place. The film is aware that it is showing us a slice of life rather than giving us the whole picture. Within this slice, it is the closely observed details, conversations and habits of the group that make the film feel rich. The characters are observed in their complexity instead of being used for a simple psychogram or topic-driven interest. Let's say it's a good day when everyone calls me Miss, Dustin says at some point at the after party. That was so beautiful, you should write that, says the girl hosting the after party, oblivious to Dustin's struggle herself. Here it feels like the audience is being spoken to directly, catching them in their own wish to simplify. Congratulations to Dustin. And now let's have a look to the video of the director, Naila Giji. She prepared, of course, a beautiful speech. Hello, my name is Naila Giji. I'm the director of Dustin. First of all, uh, sorry for my bad English. I'm going to read my text. <laughs> so I'm very honored to receive this award. I would have liked to be with you, but it's not possible. This health crisis has shown us how easy it is for in our increasingly connected society to live or rather survive without human contact, but also how much we needed this contact to remain human. human. That's what my film is about, this festive and free spaces in which the collective exists and in which more and more people lose themselves, seek themselves and find themselves. These spaces that are not essential and in which efficiency, productivity has no place and which are therefore so essential. Fortunately, these spaces are gradually beginning to reopen. I'm tonight in a festival in Lyon in France uh, because I'm going to play as a DJ and uh, I will show you how it feels to be together again with the party. Sorry I'm a bit far from the stage because there is too much sound but... Bye bye! <laughs> bye bye! Salut! Merci, Naila Guigé, director of the movie Dustin in the section Best Short Film. So let's come, let's get to the fourth section, which will be Best 360 Degree. It explores the possibilities of visual storytelling, so the audience experience a new cinematic environment that is not limited in the big screen. Immersive storytelling creates potential for new stories and poses challenges for filmmakers, which makes it particularly interesting for newcomers, especially to the film industry. So this prize is donated from NVR Space GmbH. And first of all, let's have a look at the nominees. Nice. So, the winner for best 360 degree is the movie Sector. Congratulations to Wojtek Olchowski. Yeah. And before we will say hello to Wojtek, we have another great speech will be presented by Tobias Wüstefeld. 
Hello, this is Tobias Wüstefeld from Hamburg, Germany, and together with Julia Isalis and Miriam Raffey, we had the opportunity to, to be part of the jury for the 360-degree category. It was important to us that the winner of the 360-degree category makes use of the immersive qualities of the medium and it enriches his or her narrative with the possibilities of virtual reality. Hence, one of the main criteria for judging process were questions such as why is this a short film shot or made in 360 degree? And how successfully does it affect the perception and immersion of the audience? Moreover, we looked into the artistic realization of the intended theme and if it evoked a reaction or feelings in the viewer. Several of the submissions offered an interesting and artistic composition and narrative. From a technical standpoint, the chosen film makes use of different techniques such as experimentation with perspectives and atmospherical effects. Artistically, the composition blending and variation of the mise-en-scene and the powerful performance of the main character evokes a mixture of feelings varying from claustrophobia to enchantment. The interplay between time and space, body and space, open and closed environments resulted in an interesting and original narrative experience. The film that we are referring to is Sector. A film that deals with the serious topics of deforestation and environmental destruction in a highly artistic and immersive way. Thank you so much from the jury, Tobias Wüstefeld. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the winner on stage, Wojtek Olchowski, for his film Sector. Thank you very much. Now I'm both ashamed and touched because I was not expecting so beautiful words. Uh, to not be lost, I prepare myself a little bit. Uh, I'm Wojtek from Doctoral School of Łódź Film School in Poland. And uh, first I want to thank organizers of festival because I think it's so, much, it's so important for begin, beginners filmmakers to start a festival uh, environment to, to learn how to uh, behave. Uh, I also think that it's uh, especially important that you organize this in COVID uh, or Corona era because we now understand how much it's important to meet to make community which, because we, sh we should support each other. I also thank you very much organizers of 360 section for uh, choosing great films. Uh, because I think this medium uh, is uh, uh, still uh, developing, but it, uh, uh, it, it's really showing some potential for some different uh, subjects and like very intimate or very large stories. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving me our uh, giving awards to Sector Film and to our team. Uh, we, as a creators and environmental activists, uh, we really think that using art and making a balance between art and new medium, uh, sorry, making balance between uh, art and social message is very good for uh, giving this message to people to making environmental conscious important in different way, like more emotional or more artistic. And uh, finally, uh, I want to say that we are already working for the next part of this project, whose name is uh, Factor, and it will uh, be, uh, it's much bigger because we are now uh, de developing this way of making art and uh, environment groups involved in creating these videos much uh, like bigger. And we, I want to thank you very much uh, to all my team, like Wojtek Matejko, who was performer, and uh, also my partner in this uh, idea. But now I want to thank all uh, so who are supporting Factor, who uh, is much larger, so we have like tens of people who are uh, actively protecting environment in Poland because during Corona I was shooting only in Poland. Thank you very much. <laughs> Again, congratulations to Wojtek Olchowski for his movie Sector. Well done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for another tune?
I think it's time to listen again to the wonderful Afro-European musician Kizaya. Her mission, by the way, is bringing people from different environments together and just celebrating. So if you, even if you're sitting, feel like dancing, clapping, just do it. It's about music, it's about love and remembering the important things in life. So here she is with her beautiful voice, Kizaya, and her track, More Mood. Thank you, thank you. Um, hi again. <laughs> Long time no see. This next song um, is a subject that's really important to me, so I want to take the time to make it clear. Um, we tend as humans to, it's normal, it's our human nature, to put things in boxes when we first see them, especially people. And um, sometimes we try to fit into the boxes that people expect us to be in, and we you know, cut parts of ourselves to be able to fit inside of these. And the song is about maybe building our own frame. It doesn't even have to have a frame. Building our own space where we can be in whatever shape we want to be freely. Mumud. Funny how things change. How we go from one place to another Trying to fit the frames, yeah Cutting out the shapes based on each other Feeling how we're growing, yeah, yeah. Right into our stories Seeing how we didn't know oh, oh. Our biggest challenge was our own fear But now Welcome back, everybody, to the 50th Zizuchte Ceremony Award. Let's have at first a quick look at a section of this year's festival that doesn't award a prize but should still be appreciated. The section retrospective has been a part of the festival since 2016 in cooperation with the film Cultural Heritage Masters Program. So the university has a very large film archive dating back to the 1950s. So let's have a look.
is so cool. 50 years. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the fifth section and it's called Best a Screenplay. This category is all about innovative stories brought to life by outstanding writing skills, of course. And the prize is donated by Audible worth two, 2,500 euros. So I just need the envelope because I don't know who's the winner. So best screenplay goes to Milch ins Feuer oder Katinkas Ballenpresse. Give it up for Justine Z. Bauer. And of course, there will be a speech and the speech will be held by the jury from Verena Weil, Lasse Scharpen and Karin Katschi. Milch ins Feuer beschreibt das Leben auf dem Land mit aller Lakonie und Selbstverständlichkeit, die auch die Figuren den Geschehnissen gegenüber haben. Die 19-jährige Katinka lebt und arbeitet auf dem Hof ihrer Familie und würde auch gern Bäuerin bleiben, wenn man sie denn ließe. Die Erzählung verfolgt keinen klassischen Plot, sondern streift die Themen wie der Wind die Weizen ehren. Fremdenfeindlichkeit, Klimawandel und Trockenheit, sexuelle Gewalt, die Rolle der Frau, das Aussterben der bäuerlichen Familienbetriebe, weil die Milch bald weniger kostet als das Wasser in den Feuerwehrschläuchen. Über all dem schwebt die Frage, ob Katinka den Bauernhof übernehmen soll oder womöglich am Ende tot am Baum hängt wie der Nachbar. Man wünscht der jungen Heldin so sehr, dass sie sich behaupten kann in ihrer ganz eigenen Form des Widerstands. Beim Lesen des Drehbuchs hat man das Gefühl, sonnenverbrannte Felder im Hochsommer riechen zu können. So präzise und sinnlich erfahrbar sind ihre Beschreibungen. Das kann wortkarg sein und auch schmerzhaft komisch. Unnachgiebig genau zeigt die Geschichte, was es im Alltag eigentlich bedeutet, wenn man von seiner Arbeit nicht mehr leben kann und doch nichts anderes machen möchte. Eigen, sinnlich und brachial erzählt Milch ins Feuer vom Sterben und Weitermachen. Hinterher hat man wirklich etwas gelernt über diese Welt, ohne dass große Worte gemacht wurden. Herzlichen, Herzlichen Glückwunsch! Glückwunsch. <lacht> Congratulations again to Milchens Feuer oder Katinkas Ballenpresse. And of course, we want to hear the winner, Justine Z. Bauer. Ich danke für den Preis. Ich habe mich sehr darüber gefreut. Leider kann ich heute nicht in Berlin sein, weil wir schon ein paar Tage anfangen, den Film zu drehen. Hier sitze ich mit einem der Darsteller, das ist Flipper der Hund. Und ich schicke viele Grüße nach Berlin und sage Danke an alle die die Seesüchte organisieren und an die Jury und ja, vielen Dank. Thank you. So, Halftime, we get to section six, it's called Best Children's Film. This section awards films for children from the age of zero to six years and furthermore for young adults 12 and up. In this section, the prize for best children's film and then later on best youth film will be awarded to exciting, entertaining short films from different genres, so everything is involved. And the winners will be chosen by only, I love it, young judges. The donor is the city of Potsdam, presented by Frau Obel. Dear friends of the Seesichte Festival, I'm glad that the 50th edition of the best student film festival in Germany could take place. Congrats to the Seesichte team for a successful festival. The fact that Potsdam is once again awarding the prize money for the best children's film is no coincidence. Brandenburg's capital is not only Germany's oldest film city and UNESCO creative city of film, but also one of the most child-friendly towns in our country. My special thanks goes to the Future Kids jury that chose the best children's film. And of course, congratulations to the winner team. Thank you so much. I almost feel like hearing the news. So uh, let's look at the nominees for best children's film. No. 
always feel something in the What a huge and big impact of creativity. I am impressed. So, uh, the award for best children's film for future kids goes to Affenmädchen, congratulations, directed by Isabel Kapskun, produced by Michaela Finis. So let's hear the young jury. I'm very excited to hear the speech from Amelie Trinks, Gemma Moos, Lydia Ja, Leonore von Berg, and Anton Halten. Ich sagte dem Film Affenmädchen von Isabel Karpskun als bester Kinderfilm aus. Besonders hat uns das sehr gute und glaubwürdige Schauspiel gefallen. Der Film wirkt sehr real und regt zum Nachdenken an. Das Thema Sexismus wird in Affenmädchen kindgerecht verdeutlicht, ohne dabei an Wichtigkeit zu verlieren. Gleichzeitig ist er altersübergreifend und erhaltsam. Es hat uns gefallen, dass mehrere Perspektiven und nicht nur gut und böse dargestellt werden. Herzlichen Glückwunsch! Ah, they are so cool! <lacht> Bei der Fiuti Pronton überzeugt er uns mit einem besonderen Animationsstil und einer spannenden und bewegenden Geschichte. Der Film hat uns zum Nachdenken angeregt und mit einer unerwarteten Wendung positiv überrascht. Auch der Film Tok hat uns wegen seiner guten Animation begeistert. Die Mischung aus Komödie und Romanze, in der zwei total verschiedene Charaktere aufeinandertreffen, ist faszinierend und lustig umgesetzt. Abgerundet wurde alles durch eine sehr gut passende Filmmusik. All right. Good to know. Congrats to Affenmädchen. And please welcome live on stage Isabel Kaps Kuhn. Okay, um, thank you to the Seesichte team. Und äh, vielen Dank für, äh, an die Kinderjury. Die Rede fand ich äh, sehr toll. Vielen, vielen Dank. Es freut mich sehr, dass ihr unseren Film mochtet. Um, I switched to German, because I don't know if they speak English. Um, and then, uh, most of all, vielen Dank an alle Kinderdarsteller, die uns vier Wochen ihrer Sommerferien geopfert haben, was ein sehr großes Opfer ist, wenn man zehn Jahre alt ist. Vielen Dank an die Eltern auch, die mitgemacht haben. And thank you so much to our whole team, especially our producer, Michaela. She's back there and <laughs> sitting there. And our editor, Jana, and our cameraman, Christoph, and everyone else who supported us during this long journey. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So let's get to the next section and it's called Best Youth Film. Moving on and on and on. We are staying in the future section. Now looking at Best Youth Film and the nominees are... Basically feels like my walls are caving in and everything is so big and I'm so small. Uh, 
nicht erinnern, aber wir haben die Busse noch und äh, die sind so ein Erinnerungsstück. I realize I missed watching movies. Um, thanks, um, of course, to the donor, the Kuratorium Junger Deutscher Film. And now let's see who wins the award for future teens. It's Bandsalat, produced by Patrick Buchting and directed by Tanja Hürle. <laughs> Schreiber arms herself, she's ready to protect. With school, she wards off every blow, although she will be wrecked. Day by day, she's hauling back, hiding what she's feeling. So cool. <laughs> Congratulations. And first of all, let's listen to the youth jury. They prepared, of course, a speech. So give it up to Marvin Haas, Niels Wolf, Katharina Widdel, Irene Böhm, and Justus Halten. Der Preis für den besten Jugendfilm geht einstimmig an Bandsalat von Tanja Hohler. Sehr gelungen finden wir die jugendgerechte und gut umgesetzte Darstellung des allgegenwärtigen Themas Depression, das für jedes Alter relevant ist. Man spürt einfach, dass das Filmteam sehr, sehr viel Mühe und Herzblut in diesen Film gesteckt hat. Sowohl die interessante Geschichte als auch die schauspielerischen Leistungen sind sehr überzeugend, stimmig und glaubwürdig. Wir konnten uns gut in die Charaktere hineinversetzen. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Und deshalb herzlichen Glückwunsch. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Eine lobende Erwähnung des Animationsfilms Migrants liegt uns sehr stark am Herzen. Das wichtige Thema von Flucht und Migration wird durch die Metapher der fliehenden Bären gut veranschaulicht. Die Animationen und die Figuren haben uns sehr gut gefallen. Die starke Botschaft wird altersübergreifend deutlich. Egal wo man herkommt, niemand sollte aufgrund seiner Herkunft ungerecht behandelt werden und alle haben die gleiche Chance verdient. Very wise, very smart. Thanks to the youth jury. And now, please welcome on stage the director, Tanya Holder. Yes, thank you very much. I'm, I'm very happy that I won this prize. And I'm especially happy that it was awarded by a youth jury because Uh, this film was made with a youth audience in mind, so I'm very happy that these teenagers um, liked my film so much that they decided to give it an award, um, and I'm very happy and very thankful. <laughs> yes. Cool. Yes, and of course, everybody gets a beautiful award. Those thanks again for Bansalat from the director, Tanya Ahola. So now we are getting to section eight, which will be best feature film. In this section, up and coming filmmakers from all around the world create deep and funny and epic stories. And um, first of all, I would like to welcome on stage the donor from the Investitionsbank des Landes Brandenburg, Sebastian Sturm. Hello, good evening. Good evening. I feel like now I have to get serious. So, <laughs> Sebastian Sturm, Mr. Sturm, um, what would you say? How do you feel about this festival so far? It's uh, like every year, it's a great honor and pleasure to be here. Um, I studied here in this building myself. 
Uh, so it's uh, like a, a bit like coming home uh, 20 years later. And I'm uh, every year curious about uh, the competition and who wins. Unfortunately, I do not have the time to see every film, not even the nominees. So, um, but even though I'm quite curious uh, who's the winner in this envelope, and we'll uh, know it in some seconds. Yes. So why in particular did you pick this section? Um, I think uh, the best feature film is maybe the, 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 the king size discipline. I mean, um, if you uh, do films in, uh, in a short uh, metrage, uh, you uh, maybe are uh, still trying uh, to, um, you know, to, to, get, to get there, to the, to the long feature um, uh, um, format. And uh, within a feature fo a film format, you can tell a bigger story. And um, uh, this is what uh, I think is uh, the interesting part in this category. Okay, so before you open the envelope, of course, we have to look up at the mashup. Yes. So the nominees for Best Feature Film are... Diez mil millones, Don Julio. <laughs> Thanks. So now, the stage is yours. So the winner for the best feature film is, I hope I uh, uh, pronounced it right, uh, Yi Yan. Yi Yan, sorry. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Directed by Suhelia Schwenk, produced by Sarah Fizilat. Fazilat. <laughs> Congratulations. First of all, I would like to welcome the jury, also live on stage. Give it up to Felix Binder. So, uh, of all the impressive nominees, this film touched us, the jury, the most. Its images and moments stay with you long after the end of the movie, and it creates the desire to exchange ideas about what's, what uh, has just been experienced. The film is told in a slow pace and yet creates an incredibly dense atmosphere. With reduced means, it's creating an entire world and holds us firm in its grip, just like the apartment holds the protagonists captive. Because the world is so small, we feel like we get to know every detail. We can feel the narrowness and isolation of their world with them. The small cosmos of the family is staged in a very visual way, right down to the very last image. The table at which a family could sit is now empty, an abandoned dining room that looks like a memorial. For us, this picture captures the injustice and tragedy of the story. What the film is about is monstrous, but the film itself is never moralizing, judgmental, or over-explaining. It simply tells the story and leaves the moral ev evaluation to the audience. This also applies to the actors, who never seem to play for an audience, but take the characters and emotions seriously and tell what is. In the intimate moments between the couple, who are at the center of the film, a big love story is told with small gestures. We particularly want to emphasize the touching performance of Halima Yuta, Thank you. <laughs> who lets us participate in the overwhelming pain when the lovers are violently separated by his death. It's great to see a German film that has exclusively Turkish and Kurdish dialogue. It shows the reality of life in this country, which is part of normality and should be treated that way. 
And for all these reasons, the prize for the best feature film goes to Jian by Zuela Schwenk. Congratulations. Thank you so much. We also have a special mention. So, but before we give away the, the award, we would like to give a special mention to another movie that impressed us very much. It's called Karanin Gufu, and it's about three young women who are struggling for a better life in the Rwandan capital, Gigali. Sandra and Leila are housemates, and Yvette is the employee of the shop owner. The movie tells us about the social inequality between the middle class and the domestic workers, and you learn a lot about daily life in Rwanda, but it's really about the friendship of the three main characters that helps them deal with the severity of their situations. What makes the film stand out are the three female leads who give strong, charming, and natural performances. They are so funny and witty, and with such a strong resistance spirit that they instantaneously win you over. You're not only rooting for them, you want to be their friend. Karani Ngufu, which was originally created as a web series, does what good series should do. It makes the protagonists part of your extended family. And now we give away the award. <laughs> Thank you so much. From the jury, Felix Binder. And now we would like to welcome on stage winner for Best Feature Film, Gian, the producer, Sarah Fazila. Oh, the actress is coming. OK. <laughs> Halima Icha. Why not both? You can come here and you're here. I can leave. No? OK. For this wonderful words from the jury, thank you to the jury, thank you to the wonderful um, Sehnsüchte uh, Film Festival, and now I have a note from Suheila and yeah, from the uh, from our uh, producers as well. So uh, we are very delighted to be a part of this important film festival and receiving this award. It means us a lot. And um, Suhela is very sad to miss this important moment. So now Suhela is talking. <laughs> I was always a foreigner because I was born in Sweden, grew up in Turkey, now living in Germany. Being a foreigner has created a different awareness for me. Thus, I believe in a world without any borders. If we break our prejudice, we can make this world a better place. Each of us deserve a life without wars and violence. With Gian, we try to raise the, uh, the awareness and winning this prize show us that we have succeeded. We want to thank the team and cast and that they came with us to this journey although there was a limited budget and many obstacles. Thanks also to the film school DFFB for supporting us. And now, of course, we would like to make this film available to more people and have it in the cinema. We are still looking for distributor. So. <laughs> <laughs> And as an actress, I want to say to all the students, thank you, because you know it's not only an um, opportunity for you to going outside and show how talented you are, it's also a big chance for us, for the actors. So thank you. And of course, for the film universities, thanks. Yes, so, yeah, we have to break prejudice. I love it. Thanks, everyone. Um, I think it's time to have a little, you know, break, relax, enjoy wonderful music. So, there she is again. Kaziah with her wonderful voice and the song Type of Girl. 
Hey again. Thank you for the warm welcome every time. This song is called Type of Girl. My very first released song, so it's always a very special one to me. First one. Yeah. Cause a one and a one makes a full two I ain't looking for another half My spit already full Now I, I got strong opinions They may hurt and clash But I, I wanna hear your visions While we chillin' hit our stash And you'll be right some of the time But I'll be right most of the time Now I'm kidding, it's alright Don't you be scared, I'm sweet and chilled I don't bite, but still be prepared Cause I'm a type with whom you never gave up I'm a type will always be on board for adventure, for art, for food and games, but not the type with number and names. Cause I'm the type of girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm the type of girl. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the type of girl. I'd like for you to sing with me. It's gonna be very short. It's gonna be very easy. Can you do that with me? Hey. The music is gonna stop, so we're gonna hear you. Prepare yourselves. Okay, can I get some snaps too? A little bit louder, eh? Okay. Cause I'm a type of girl. Cause I'm a type of girl. One more time, one more time, one more time. Thank you. 
Thank you, Kizire, and also thanks to the musicians on stage. Is this still on? Yes. The guitar player is called Botond, and this is Zimi on the computer. Yeah, so welcome back to the 50th Seesüchte Awards Ceremony. We are coming to section nine, which will be best focus production. So let's have a look behind the scenes and into the production offices. It's all about innovative financing methods. It's about fair working conditions, which is very important, I think. It's about convincing gender equality concepts, also very important, sustainable use of resources. So. This prize will be donated by the Erich Pommer Institute, and it's about a seminar worth to 1,000 euro, and you get a color correction worth to 4,000 euro from CBBB. First of all, let's say hello to the donor, and this will be Philip Kistel from EPI, I guess. Hello. Um, yes, I'm delighted to hear uh, to be here and uh, to with the EPI be a long-term sponsor for uh, this section of best production. In the name of Erich Pommer, we are a platform for career advancement and for uh, professional training. So, in the words of this festival, we ignite careers. Um, yeah, and uh, I will now. No? no. But, yeah, yeah, close. We're close. <laughs> <laughs> but first, we have a um, look up for the nominees. So these are the nominees for Best Focus Production. And now, Philip, can I say Philip too? Yep, yeah, okay, the stage is yours. So the winner for the category Best Production is Adiza. Congratulations to Felix Hulch, and uh, directed by Simon Denda. I'm sure your inside knowledge will help us. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Philip. And now the jury will also give us a speech as well. Welcome, Caroline von Zenden, Nadja Yuma, Mina Avro Avramova, Björn Koll, and Murat Usgüde. Jury der Sektion Fokusproduktion des 50. Seesüchte Filmfestivals der Filmuniversität Babelsberg Konrad Wolf zeichnet die Produktion Adisa. Buch Laura Anweiler, Produktion Felix Hulsch, Kevin Anweiler und Wenzel Steinmetz von Walking Ghost Film, Regie Simon Dender als beste Produktion 2021 aus und honoriert damit neben der besonderen künstlerischen Leistung zusätzlich auch die herausragende Leistung der Produzenten. Regisseur Simon Dender ist mit Adisa ein fulminanter Abschlussfilm an der HFF München gelungen. 
ein knapp halbstündiger, hochdramatischer Politthriller, der seine ZuschauerInnen von der ersten bis zur letzten Sekunde in seinen Band zieht und emotional berührt. Dies gelingt einerseits durch eine bewundernswert souveräne Regieleistung, die neben dem perfekt getarnten Erzählrhythmus insbesondere durch die beeindruckende Schauspielführung überzeugt. Man kann erkennen, dass Simon Dender hier seinen Studienschwerpunkt hatte. Vom intensiven Spiel der Hauptdarstellerin Victoria Meyer über die exzellenten Nebendarsteller Jacqueline Banjiku und Götz Otto bis hin zu den einheimischen Laiendarstellern liefern alle Protagonisten erstklassige Leistungen, die auch der filigranen und empathischen Regiearbeit zuzuschreiben sind. Die Jury ist beeindruckt und begeistert von der Leistung der Produzenten. Sechsstellige Barmittel für einen studentischen Abschlussfilm zu akquirieren, in einem Land zu recherchieren und zu drehen, in dem keiner der Produzenten jemals zuvor, zuvor gewesen war, trotz einer sicherheitspolitisch brisanten Lage in Eigenregie in dieses Land zu reisen und mit Hilfe lokaler Partner ein solches Projekt professionell fertigzustellen wichtige Head-off-Positionen mit lokalen Talenten zu besetzen und sich zudem mit den kenianischen Mentalitätsunterschieden und besonderen klimatischen Herausforderungen auseinanderzusetzen, zeugen von einer hervorragenden Vorbereitung, einem unerschütterlichen Glauben an die Kraft dieser Geschichte, einem Willen zu größtmöglicher Authentizität und einem vorbildlichen Arbeitsethos. Durch das Einbeziehen der afrikanischen Sichtweise auf diese ungewöhnliche Geschichte schon in der Vorbereitungsphase vermied das Produzententeam zudem den Fehler, den Film aus einer rein europäischen Perspektive zu erzählen. Das wiederum zeugt von einem achtsamen Umgang mit einer uns fremden Kultur. All diese Besonderheiten machen Adisa für die Fokus produktion jury zu einer herausragenden Produktion, die mit dem Preis für die beste Produktion ausgezeichnet werden musste. Dass diese Entscheidung der fünfköpfigen Jury einstimmig ausfiel, unterstreicht den Wert dieser Auszeichnung nachhaltig. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Thank you, Murat Üsküdar. So now, I would like to welcome on stage the director. Give it up to Simon Denda. Uh, yeah, thank you very much um, for the, the kind and, and warm words. Um, it was quite a right to do this movie and we did our best to get this theme and this um, story right. And a uh, big, big thank you not uh, only to Walking Ghost Film that believed in the story and believed in me. Um, Uh, I also want to thank uh, Film Crew in Africa, um, Ledama and, and Linda, for their uh, permanent effort to do the best with us and to trust us and uh, to um, give this story the space that um, it needed to grow. And um, in the end, I also want to thank all the other filmmakers here on the festival for their marvelous work and um, keep up the good work. You're really inspiring. And um, thank you, Zesüchte. I thank you all very, very, very much for this prize and the acknowledgement for it. Uh, thanks to the Erich Pommer Institute. Thanks for to B CBBB. Um, it's an honor to receive this. And I thank Simon who took us along a couple of years ago with an incredible idea, gave us the freedom to do it with him. And the trust he gave to us was immense. Thank you to Wenzel and Felix, who are my my brothers with Walking Ghost Film doing this. And uh, now, Felix, please. Hi, this is Felix, uh, also producer from Walking Ghost Film, and speaking from a wedding party right now. Um, yeah, we also want to thank the Kenyan people um, from Nairobi, uh, the FCIA family, um, Ledana Sembele. Uh, and Linda, of course, and Christine Zavani. 
Without them, we couldn't do, we couldn't produce Adisa in, in Nairobi last year, right before coronavirus. Um, yeah, it was a pleasure and an honor to work with them. Um, so thanks to, to the whole crew team members from Kenya. And uh, thanks for the prize. Congratulations again. Well, let's get to the next section, which will be best documentary short. This section features a single snapshot in time, presenting personal portraits or revealing a shocking investigation. They explore current issues, of course, and touching twists of fate in their larger context. So let's have a look at the nominees. <laughs> Es gibt ein Wort auf Deutsch. Trampolin. Kennst du das? Trampolin? I miss a particular period of time. I miss the scent of the plants. Impressive. So here's the envelope. And the award for best documentary short goes to Son of the Streets, directed by Mohamed Almugani, produced by Agata Gulanska. Thank you. And the jury is here and will give us a speech. Welcome on stage, Alice Agnes Kirchner. Well, bef before I start with the uh, speech for the jury, I want to mention that I studied in this, uh, when it was still called Half F Konrad Wolf Babelsberg, and we were not always in this uh, building. We were in a lot of small or huge uh, villas along the Gripnitzi. So I want to just remind that. And wandering through this little exhibition, um, I came across an article I wrote in 1992. I was still a student here. And the Seesüchte was not the Seesüchte, it was the Studententage. And the film festival was in a crisis. It was like nobody went there, nobody was really interested. It was nearly come to an end. And in this moment, three students of this university, which was still half F. Konrad Wolf, decided they want to keep on going and they founded uh, the, the festival anew. So it was, I want to mention them today. <clears throat> They were studying film and media no, film and Fernsehwissenschaft, which is was called that time. It was Tom Stenitzke, Michael Konstabel, and Jeanette Eggert. So please give them a warm hand. It was very important. <laughs> so and now we go back to what I call the important discipline in filmmaking. It's documentary. Oh yeah, and some applause. Yes, please. <clears throat> so, documentary filmmakers enter the microcosm of other people's lives, and through the filmmaking, these people become the protagonists of films, so that we, 
the viewers can participate. The jury, Kenneth Young, Leona Goldstein, Julia Lokshina and me, we couldn't sit together in a cinema, of course, but one film touched us because a boy or a young man, maybe 14 years old, who knows, he has no passport. He's trying to make a place for himself in Lebanon in a refugee camp. The camera follows him, but it does much, much more. It finds impressively simple images for his life, his joy, his anger, his first love, and his despair. After 30 minutes, we are left with the deep feeling that Kodor deserves a future like all of us. The price of 2,500 euros goes to Son of the Streets. Congratulations. Thank you, Alice Agnes Kirchner, um, which is donated, by the way, from CU Rent. And now, of course, we want to hear the director, which will be Mohamed Al Mughani. Hi, everyone. My name is Mohamed Al Mughani. I am the film director of the short documentary Son of the Streets. Uh, I wanted to be at Sehsushti this year. I really wanted to visit this festival. I always wanted to go to Babelsberg uh, Film School. Uh, I've seen very good films from there. I had workshops uh, along uh, students from uh, the school. So since I studied in Wood Film School, so we had a lot of um, uh, exchange programs and uh, workshops together. Uh, but at least I received this little gift from the festival with a beautiful purple bag and a book with the films included and a really nice message from the team that they are sorry that uh, I couldn't be this year, but uh, they're wishing me to enjoy the online edition and yeah, I really thank the, t the team and I really thank uh, the audience and I am um, really glad that the film has received uh, attention at your festival. Thank you so much and hope to see you soon in Babelsberg. Thank you. So, of course, uh, the next section will be best documentary features. So we're kind of entering the kingdom. Um, the donator is the RBB. And of course, first of all, we will have a look at the nominees. Lo que me pasó a mí, te pasó a ti. Nos pasó a muchas. Es war schon so geil, aber wir machen es gleich nochmal. Eins, zwei, drei. Nice. And... The award for best documentary feature goes to My Vietnam, Mein Vietnam. Congratulations. The director is Sien Mai, Tim Elrich, produced by Leopold Papel. So, maybe you have seen her before, I'm not sure, but please welcome the jury on stage, Alice Agnes Kirchner. <laughs> well, it's uh, me again, and before I come to the film and the prize, I started with how the festival got in a crisis and got re relived again. So um, I heard that uh, 54 students of the uh, section Medienwissenschaft organized and did all the festivals. So I want to thank you, all of them, a warm hand. It's very great that you all keep the tradition. And uh, yes, I just wish you continue. Thank you all. So, my Vietnam, 
opens the door into a small, supposedly unspectacular space in which a family, but also a society, and in a way the whole world is sheltered. A concentrated look reveals the married life of a Vietnamese couple, the parents of one of the directors, who acts very cautiously in her double role as a filmmaker and a daughter. It's a quiet, modest film that takes a step back and unfolds great power with a lot of attention and trust in the protagonists. An affectionate, intimate, intimate theater in which the world behind the window does not seem to play a role as if this Germany did not even exist. The big structural questions and challenges of global migration, of an arrival, the possibilities and the hurdles of social mobility in German society and, in, and its privileges resonate quietly in the background, while in the foreground the couple cleans corridors and toilets and fittings of office buildings with worth night after knife. It's a film about love about lo uh, and, and a life settled inside, but showing the big questions. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And now I would like to welcome you on stage, the producer, Leopold Pape. You have the same last name as my mother. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, I'm usually not the one who goes on stage and gives uh, speeches. Um, Hien and Tim are really sorry they cannot be here. Um, but if they would, I think they would first of all really like to thank the Zesuste Festival uh, for giving the film and Bayern Tam Story a platform. As mentioned earlier, this as well is a German film that's completely in Vietnamese and it belongs here as well. So we're really happy that we found another platform and that Zesuste champions uh, all those stories. Um, secondly, I think they're I think they're watching at home and they're moved to tears probably right now be, uh, because of the nice words from the jury. So thank you to the jury for honoring their yeah, hard and artistic work. And last of all, thank you to the audience that I don't know maybe watches on the stream right now for coming out today to watch the film and to watch online. I think it's a great possibility to have these hybrid events so that people who cannot be here also can connect to the stories, to our protagonists, Spy and Tom, but also to all those other great films. Thank you really much. Thank you, Leopold Pape. Well, should I give you this technical advice that you should switch off your mobile phones? I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, we come to the last section. Crazy. It's the last section of the 50th Zesichte Award Ceremony, and it'll be Best Animated Film. In this section, the prize for best animation film will be awarded from stop motion animated cartoon to CGI. Zee Süchte dedicates this section to the most inspiring animated works. And um, the donor is KV Development, worth to 2,500 euros. So first of all, let's have a look. Here are the nominees. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Crazy Heads. I love art. So, the award for best animated film goes to Have a Nice Star. Congratulations to the director, Jalal Magu, and the production, the producer, Karsten Martin. Congratulations. And now, please, let's just listen to the speech from the jury, Annegret Richter, Frederick Schult, and Pia Hellenthal. Hello, everybody. My name is Annegret Richter, and first of all, I want to say thank you to the Seesüchte team for having Pia, Frederick, and me as jury this year. You did a great job in pampering us, even though we were a remote jury. It was a blast for us to see all the wonderful films in competition and it was really hard to select only two films as winners. However, there are always films that stick to your mind long after you have seen them and this one is one of them. So this is now the jury statement for the film Have a Nice Dog by Yalal Magut who receives the Seesücht Award for Best Animated Film. <clears throat> Have a nice dog overwhelms you like a sudden and very unexpected storm. Quiet, very quiet it builds up the tension until there's no chance to withdraw from it. You sit, watch and let your feelings flow from compassion to sorrow and despair and you don't want to believe that these dark and gray shaded images are reality for many people worldwide. In the film, the protagonist flees from the busy everyday life in a war-affected city to the protection of his home. In this isolation, only in company of his dog, his fears and his desperation are growing. What makes the story special is that you feel that it is not just a metaphor. You can see the director's personal involvement by and in every stroke of the pencil and every animated scene seems to reflect his own experiences and the stories of friends and family from Syria. However, this is not a film about despair because it is not a hopeless film. There's always this little ray of hope between the protagonist and the outside world, even if the light of it shines not very bright. So thank you and congratulations. What a beautiful speech. So welcome, live on stage, the director, Jala Magu. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's already amazing that we are able to sit together uh, today and uh, receiving this prize uh, is really a big honor and a big recognition after long years of working uh, on the film, especially that it's coming uh, from the place, from this beautiful place where I uh, studied. Thank you very much for the for the jury. Uh, many thanks to, to my team, to uh, Dasha Dawanhawa, Oskar Solna, Nicholas Foss, uh, Christina Schindler, and many other people. And a big thank goes to my producer, Carsten Matern, who is sitting right there. <laughs> hey, Matern. Uh, hey, Matern, say something, please, or come to the stage. Please welcome Hey, Matern to the stage. <laughs> No? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, so we're coming to an end. Um, well, 
I think we have to bring on stage all the people who did an amazing job to make this festival happen. They coordinated the whole festival. So let's welcome, please, with a big warm applause, Anna Göpfert, Konrad Miltner, Stefan Wirth, and Luna Fischer. Final hello from our side as well. Uh, we're happy to have you all here. Uh, but first of all, our most sincere congratulations to all of the winners, and thank you for your amazing movies that we could show here. Um, uh, dear guests, supporters, award sponsors, juries, filmmakers, and our dear team, we're happy that you enjoyed the official award ceremony with us. And together, we want to take a look back on four eventful days of Seesüchte. On this day, we are especially thankful for our prize donors for the support of the up-and-coming filmmakers, whose brave film create uh, the spark we need to keep, the to keep for the Seesüchte to be alive. A big thank you goes out to the supporters that accompanied us uh, during the process and made the 50th anniversary such a special place and experience for our audience. We also want to thank our designers that are responsible for this year's look and feel of the 50th Seesüchte. And last but not least, um, we want to thank our festival patron of this year, Lothar Mikos. Um, yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, yeah, f festivals are places where people meet. <laughs> Nowhere else do filmmakers and audience meet so closely, actually, even though it was still important to keep the necessary distances this year. We were especially pleased that so many filmmakers visited us and were able to present their films. Especially for young filmmakers, it is a formative experience to present their films in front of a real audience, their first films, actually. Without you filmmakers, we would not have such a fantastic, diverse program. Without you, there would be no Seesüchte. So thank you very much. Finally, a heartfelt thank you to you all, to our guests who breathed life into the festival here on site who were able to join us online and who duly celebrated the 50th birthday of Seesüchte. This very special edition will be remembered forever, at least by us. We are very happy to invite you and also the online audience tomorrow to watch the outstanding winning films on site or online. Let's seize this day to let Seesüchte's birthday come to an end with live music, more film blogs and outdoor events. At last, one of our main goals was that our team experiences exciting festival days. Because a few, a few of you will carry the flame into next year and lead a new team. Change is the most enduring Seesüchte tradition. Our unique history exhibition has shown that. We are excited to see what the next festival team will make of Seesüchte, 2022 and the next 50 years after that. Ignite! <laughs> What a special evening, what a special night. I hope I don't sound redundant right now, but thank you again for this amazing evening. Congratulations again to all the winners. This was the award ceremony of the 50th Seesüchte Festival. It was my pleasure to be your host, and now let's celebrate, even if you're joining us by live stream. 
just get a drink. It was absolutely amazing. Thanks to the donors, of course. Well done to all the participants and the nominees and all the people who've been involved in this festival. My name is Busa Chiam. Thanks for having me. And now, let's thank you. Listen again to the great sound of Kazaya's voice. She's covering a song of Bob Marley, which will be is this love. Thank you for the warm greeting one more time. Being an up and coming artist, um, most of the time I perform in front of new crowds that don't always know my music. And so, because we all very much enjoy to also s listen or hear songs we know, I decided to end with a cover that normally everyone should know. If you don't know, you really have homework to do. <laughs> um, a beautiful song. Um, but if you did enjoy mine, um, I hope that you will um, go and listen to my music. My name is Kazaya, like it was said, K dot Z I A. But this is in honor of Bob Marley now. Thank you for having me.
Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining me. Good evening.